Hello, hello. Good evening, everybody. How are you? Hello. Hello, good teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Fine, fine. Because it's Friday and the body knows, right? <laughs> I guess we're not sure, right? <laughs> I don't know you guys. This is Friday, guys. This is the last day that we are going to work from this week. Also, of course, right? The next week we are going to continue. Remember that, right? <laughs> okay. So in this case, guys, we are going to uh, talk about also about past tense. Okay. We are going to continue with that. Remember that the last class we touched affirmative, a negative, a interrogative forms of the verb to be, right, in past. But in this day, with the programs that we have, we have an uh, interrogative form for today. So we are going to um, get deeper in that area, in that, uh, in that things, right, in order to get him more sure about the topic that we were uh, discussing yesterday, right? Okay, so first of all, let me see what time is it. Okay, it's one minute past eight. Let me check. Yes, how many of you are connected? Eight with me, right? So that means you are seven. So we are going to give three minutes more, I guess the others can connect. For a while, we are going to make just a review, okay? Could you help me with that, guys? Just to remember what we were discussing be before or yesterday. Some examples, something that you want to add. Remember that I always one I like to do this because I need to be sure that you have gotten the topic outside or not that you already see it, right? But uh, it is important to remember it, okay? So could you help me with that, please? Mm -hmm. Yo creo que necesitamos un estiramiento, chicos, primero. Ok. So tell me something, right? Or would you like to tell me something, but you just have to be um, being speaking in English. Ok, that's the most important. You can tell me something. Whatever you want to tell me, but it, it is in English, right? Would you like to tell me something? No, teacher, hoy sí la han dejado sola. Esto veo, hoy es I don't know, guys. <laughs> I'll get alone in this. In this night, it's Friday and I'm born. So, sometimes I thought that I, there is going to be a day that I'm going to speak alone all the class, right? <laughs> I try to make a speak, but sometimes you don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to try. Okay, so let's, you don't want to speak. Okay, that's great. Okay, no worries for that. Uh, It's going to be a moment that you want to speak with me. But, okay, I'm going to make the class, okay? That's the most important. So just pay attention and make the exercise and try to put it in practice in your daily life, right? That's the most important that you have to do in order to improve your English or your speaking. Uh, because you are going to get your goals in that way, okay? Just give an advice. Try to speak, okay? When you can, right? Cuando puede. Cuando puedan, ¿verdad? In front of the mirror, in front of oh, when you are alone, just speak like you were some like people is going to think that you are crazy, but it's something that you have to do in order to speak. If you are if you're ashamed to speak in front of the people, right? Maybe you can practice in that way, and that's good for you, right? Just like ah, hello everybody, and I'm here. Uh, I was preparing the food, but I'm talking this and in front of the beat or talking along. It, just doesn't, it doesn't mean that you are crazy. That's, it means that you are practicing, you want to get your goals. That's good for you, okay? 
So it's up to you, okay? Thank you. Vaya, vamos, chicos. Entonces, voy a pasar la lista, chicos. Primero que todo, ¿verdad? Antes de que se me olvide, vamos a empezar con la lista. Vamos a esperar, pues, que los demás, pues, se puedan conectar. A medida que pase el tiempo y que pasemos la lista, tal vez pueden conectarse y, y pues, este, contestar, ¿verdad? O oh, si present y así sucesivamente, right? Okay, vamos a ver. Let's see. I'm looking for you guys. And aquí estamos. Rapidito nos hallamos. Miren, hoy está. No, 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 the traffic, right? <laughs> okay. Ana Raquel Campos Ayala. Present. Thank you. Ana Victoria Galán. Brandon Alexis Velasquez. Present. Thank you, Brandon. Cristina Beatriz Rivera de Caravantes. Daniel Ernesto Abrego Brizuela. Denise. Thank you. Denise Alejandra Zuni Galdana. Diana Yamilet Maravilla Navas, Edith Adilia Hernández Chacón, Freddy Ricardo Landaverde, Jorge Alberto Laínez Díaz, Present Jorge Ernesto Hernández Durán, Present Thank you, George, Luis Eduardo Reyes, María José Escobar Portillo, Maritza Celina Aguilar Ramos. Miguel Santos Marroquín Maravilla. Present teacher. Excellent. Thank you, Michael. Morelia Giselle Perdomo Pineda. Nancy Carolina Saldaña Membreño. Okay, okay, thank you, Nancy. Okay, de Jesús de Mésica Carranza. Y Verónica Lisette Portillo de Cas. Present. Thank you, Verónica. Okay, guys, I know that you already see this topic, but it's necessary because the program is asking for it, okay? So that means we have to do it. So let's remember something, right? Today we are going to talk just a question form, so the, of the verb to be in past, okay? Yesterday we were talking about, we were practicing the affirmative and negative form, right? But in this case, we are going to try to speak or try to practice the question form, okay? So what is the rule that apply to the question form? What do you remember about that? What is the rules that apply in that case? Uh -huh. <laughs> Ok, ok, perfecto, entonces yo voy a hablar solita, ok, no hay problema, there is no problem. <ríe> Vaya chicos, voy a abrir el OneNote, uh, just to remember guys, and we are going to talk about questions, because of the program, right? Y luego pues pasamos a lo que es la parte del manual. Miren chicos, vaya, eh, solamente de unos minutitos voy a compartir acá la pantalla para que podamos observar what we are going to read. Vaya, yesterday we were talking about this, okay? What's in is the verb to be in past. Remember that verb to be in past, we, we have two forms, okay? Just two forms, that is what and where. One is used for the first person and the third person, that is I, he, she, and it, right? And the second one that is where is used to uh, referring to the second person that is you, we, and they, okay? This is clear, right? <clears throat> okay, and we were making some examples, but in this case, we are going to touch just yes, no question with the past forms of the verb to be. That in this case is this one, right? Yes, no questions. What are the yes, no questions? The ones that we answer just with yes or no. Okay, so in this case, we're going to touch just this one. Remember that in the question forms, always we're going to follow the, the following structure that is the auxiliary verb, that in this case is the verb to be in past, 
lost the subject plus the verb, right? Or plus the complement in this case. And at the end, we are going to write the question mark. Remember that in English, if you don't write the question mark, it's not a question. So you have to respect that. Always you have to write it down at the end of the questions. Okay, so for that reason, we have this example. Was I here? Was I here? Estuve aquí? Yes, you were. Oh, no, you were not. This is the long form. Remember that if you want, you can use the contractive form that is, no, you weren't. Okay, so were you happy? Were you happy? Yes, I was. Oh, no, I was not. But teacher, why we are going to answer with a different person I pronounce? As I told you yesterday, you have to answer in that case that someone is with you asking you directly, okay? So, for example, I'm going to ask you to you, Michael, if I say, uh, were you happy? Were you happy? I was. Yes, I was. So, in this case, yes, the person I pronoun changed when we are going to answer that question. But in the other cases, it's not like this. Always you are going to write it down the same personal pronouns. If you use we, if you use it, if you use she, if you use he, etc., etc. right? So let's talk about them. Was she pretty? Was she pretty? Yes, she was. Oh, no, she wasn't, right? Was he cool? Was he cool? Maybe you are talking about your teacher, your English class with someone else and that person asked you to you, was he cool? Was he cool? Fue el chévere, ¿verdad? Fue una, una, una persona con quien te llevaste mucho chiv, chivísimo, ¿verdad? Chiv, bueno, chiva en el aspecto que bien buena onda, como diciembre. Was he cool? Yes, he was. Oh, no, he wasn't. Oh, no, he was not, right? <clears throat> you can use both form, okay? So let's see. Was it a good day? Was it a good day? Fue un, un bonito día o un buen día? Was it a good day? Yes, it was. Oh, no, it wasn't, right? Maybe you are talking with someone or some, someone is going to greet him. And she or he asked me, was it a good day yesterday? You can say, yes, it was. Oh, no, it was in the case that it's going to be negative, right? We hope that it's going to be positive, right? Okay, so let's see. Were we in love? <laughs> Were we in love? Estuvimos enamorados? Maybe your ex-girlfriend or your ex-boyfriend is going to ask you, were we in love? Were we in love? Yes, we were. Oh, no, we were not. Oh, we no, we weren't, right? <coughs> Perdón. Oh, no, we weren't. Were you amazing? Were you amazing? Yes, we were. Oh, no, we were not. Oh, no, we weren't. So this is the way that you're going to use these forms of the questions and the way that you are going to answer them with yes, no, right? These are some questions that you're not going to add no more than yes or no, okay? For example, where they start, where they start, were they a star? Yes, they were. Oh, no, they were not, right? In this case, right? Aquí, chicos, es de la S, obviamente, porque la S no va aquí, okay? Were they a star? ¿Empezaron ellos, verdad? ¿Mm? O fueron, este, perdón, este, fueron estrellas, verdad? Fueron estrellas, maybe, del cine, verdad? O del, ¿Qué? de teatro, de la música, etc., etc. So, when they start, yes, they were, or no, they were not, or no, they weren't, okay? So, remember that the positive and the negative also is like this, with the 
verb to be in past, but in the questions, the verb to be changed the position, right? That's all that you have to remember in this case, and you are going to be okay, okay? Just to remember this, okay? So it's clear, guys? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, yes. perfect. Thank you so much. Vaya, entonces, como ya, pues ya, ya esto prácticamente usted ya lo sabe, ¿verdad? Creo que no va a haber ningún problema porque ya está dado. Yo sé que a veces la ficha va a decir otra vez eso, ¿verdad? Sí. Pero es necesario, ¿verdad? Es necesario, ¿ok? So, I'm going to stop the short screams and I'm going to share the manual because we're going to go to the third unit. We are going to finish the third unit and then we're going to start the fourth one because in the fourth one is the topic that we are going to take, we are going to touch today, right? Or we are touching today. Just give me some minutes, please. Let's see, okay. So yesterday we were on page. Permítame, voy a volver a cargar porque no me quiere cargar las siguientes páginas. Vamos, let's see, let's see, let's see. No me parece el menú. We are in unit three because we didn't finish yet. So we are going to try to finish and then we're going to start with the unit four that is trainings, right? If I no mistake, we were on page. Eso lo hicimos, eso también, right? We were touching this part, guys. Yes, right? We were making the, the employee's name and also we were programming a course or a workshop for them, right? And we were talking about ING form also. And also we were touching this, right? Sentences with progressive, in present, right? And also the seven line paragraph activity in these days. And also guys, we were saying about the profile, who is going to be promoted, well, right? And then we're going to touch this. This is the last part, okay? We finished these two pages and then we're going to pass to the fourth one, okay? So it says, read the previous employees' performance reports and ask and answer questions about them. So read the previous employees' performance. That is one that we were touching yesterday that are this one, right? And then guys, we are going to ask and answer questions about them, okay? For example, here we are going to use the simple present, okay? For example, uh, does Mr. Perez show commitment to work? Is he a leader? Is Mr. Solana committed to work? Does she focus on her responsibilities? Okay. And then you are going to write the questions to the questions that you are making. You are going to make the questions about the statement that you have here, for example, is Mr. Raul Perez uh, a proactive person? Is Mr. Uh, Raul Perez a collaborative person? Y eso sucesivamente, ¿verdad? Vamos a hacer las preguntas con los mismos statements que tenemos allá, chicos. Y luego, pues, vamos a responderlas con yes, he does. No, no, he doesn't, depende de lo que diga el reporte de la, del comportamiento o del desempeño de cada uno de ellos, ¿verdad? Entonces, lo vamos a hacer en ese cuadrito, chicos, pero utilizando el simple present, ¿ok? In this case. ¿Es clear what you are going to do? Yes, teacher. Ok, perfect. Go ahead, chicos. Thank you so much.
<laughs> you have any questions, please tell me, please.
corruption to show. Finish? No. Eh, este en, en, la, en el manual, la unidad 3, ¿dónde la encuentro? Porque ah. en la plataforma me da uno, pero solo me tira seis páginas, pero no me llega hasta ahí donde está usted. No, váyase donde dice, eh, eh, permítame, acá está arriba un brochure. Vaya de ahí le das donde dice Student Manual. Este va a aparecer el que dices tú, que solo son seis páginas. Pero a un lado están las unidades, le das en la unidad tres y ahí te va a aparecer la parte en la que estamos. Te vas hasta el final. Ya se la mandé al WhatsApp. Y es la última grupo. página. Ajá. También. Ya la mandé al Gracias, grupo de WhatsApp. Ok. Gracias. Thank you so much, Alexis. I finished it. Okay. okay, perfect, Morelia. Somebody else? Así empezamos a preguntar, chicos. Are you, do you need more time? More time, teacher. Yes. Okay, go ahead.
I finished, teacher. Okay, okay, okay. One more. Good evening. Good evening, Freddy. It's welcome. Chelsea, yes, yes, yeah, 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 Sí. Sí, eso Con ansia What? esperado el día sábado. <laughs> What are you doing? What are you doing? Ok, Freddy. Estamos haciendo oraciones, bueno, preguntas con los eh, profiles que vimos ayer, con estos, con lo, las, las referencias de los empleados, digamos, por ejemplo, digamos, si vamos a hablar acerca de Raúl Pérez. Uh, does uh, Mr. Perez show a commitment to work? Does Mr. Perez follow indications? Does Mr. Perez like to work in group? Y así solamente me le va a poner el verbo auxiliar y lo va a convertir en pregunta, el statement que ve ahí. Como esto, mire, does Mr. Perez show commitment to work? Is he a leader? You get it? Son preguntas de simple present, con do or does. Okay? En este caso solamente es does porque es el y ella, ¿verdad? Entonces, acá le hacemos la pregunta con los mismos statements que tenemos ahí arriba, ¿verdad? En, en el reporte del comportamiento de cada uno. Y luego, pues, tenemos las respuestas a cada una de las preguntas que hacemos acá. Por ejemplo... En la primera dice, does Mr. Perez show commitment to work? Yes, he does. Is he a leader? Yes, he is. Puede ser que ocupen does o puede ser que ocupen is. Depende de la pregunta que se haga ya. O del statement que estemos hablando. Ok. Por ejemplo, eh, is he a proactive person? Is he a collaborative person? Does Mr. Perez have a positive attitude? Con estas de acá, vamos a hacer las preguntas. Y las vamos a ubicar en la parte de acá y le vamos a dar respuesta a cada una de ellas. Si sí o no, dependiendo del reporte de arriba. Finish Ok, Alex. Excelente. Vaya. Si gustan, pues empezamos a leer las preguntas. Ok. ¿Les parece? Fue el camino acá. Yes. Ok, perfecto. Ahorita, ahorita. Solo le contesto a Alex. Porque viene en camino a su casa, dice. Entonces, vaya. Primero que todo, who wants to be the first one? Let's see number three about Mr. Perez. Me, me teacher. Okay, go ahead. Um, does Mr. Perez follow indications? Does Mr. Perez follow indications? Yes or not? Yes, uh, he does. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. Muy bien. Number four. About Mr. Perez. Me teacher. Okay, perfect. Go ahead. Is is Mr. Perez always punctual? Is Mr. Perez always punctual? Yes or not? No, he isn't. No, he isn't. Okay, perfect. Number five. Somebody else wants to participate? Morelia? Uh, um, is he proactive? Is he proactive? Yes or not? Mm, no. No, he isn't. No, he isn't, right? Okay. George Alberto Laines. Number six. Okay. Is Mr. Perez is a leader? 
Is Mr. Perez a leader? Yes or not? No, she does. No, he, yeah. no, no, he, he is. Doesn't. No, he isn't. See, no, I don't. no, he isn't, right? Okay, thank you. Michael, are you there? Miguel, estás ahí? Michael? Daniel? Veronica? Yes. Okay, Veronica. How, tell me? how pronounce how pronounce the violent rules? Violent rules? Violet violent rules? Violet. Yes, violent rules. Okay, does Mr. Perez violet rule? Yes or not? Yes. No, no, no. No, no he? Sí, 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 yes, yes. <laughs> oh, yes. Yes, he does en este caso, ¿verdad? Porque estamos uh -huh. hablando de acciones. Yes. Entonces, quiere decir que vamos a ocupar eh, el do, ¿verdad? Como yes, auxiliar, yes. o das, perdón. Mm -hmm. No. Es, entonces, tendría que decir, yes, he does, o no, he does. It depends, right? Ok, perfect. So, let's talk about Mr. Solano. This is the number three, ¿ok? The number three. Volunteers, Rachel. Me, teacher. Okay, perfect. Go ahead. Does Mr. Solano likes to work in group? Does Mr. Solano, Mr. Solano work in groups? Yes or not? Uh, no, she... Yes. 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 Okay, let's see. It. Let's check it. it. Or no, uh, I don't know. No. Working group, okay, no. let's check it. <laughs> okay, that's always shows commitment, that's to the follow indication, that's to work in group, okay? Quiere decir que es positiva, porque le gusta trabajar okay. en grupo. Entonces okay. tiene que ser, yes, she yes, does. Yes, she does. Uh -huh. So let's see number four. Who say number four? Me, teacher. Okay, go ahead. Mr. Solano has a positive Attitude. Mr. Solano has a positive. Does Mr. Solano a, a positive attitude? Yes or not? No. She, 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 does. she doesn't, right? Or she hasn't in this case also. No, ya no lo hace. Puede ser con do, ¿verdad? Puede responder con do o lo puede responder con have, ¿ok? Porque se está refiriendo a una actitud y a una actividad, ¿verdad? Este, se puede, ¿ok? So, does uh, Mr. Solano uh, uh, have a uh, good attitude? Is this one, right? Yes, he, he does. On, yes, he, she does, perdón, o no, she doesn't. It depends, right? So, let's see number five. Who say number five? Uh, is she always... Is she punctual? Yes or not? No. No, she? No, she. She isn't, right? No, she isn't. ¿Por qué isn't? Porque estamos ocupando el verbo auxiliar is. Puede ser con is o puede ser con das. Ahí va a depender del tipo de pregunta y del tipo de eh, oración que tengan allá, ¿verdad? Si es con el verbo to be, la pregunta va a ser con el verbo to be, como auxiliar, así como también la, la respuesta, ¿verdad? Si la pregunta es acerca de actividades, pues va a ir con das. Y la, pre la respuesta va a ser con das también, ¿ok? So, let's see number six. ¿Cuál es number six? ¿Sí? ¿Ok? Does Miss Solano complete, complete the works assigned? Okay, does Mr. Solano complete the work assigned? Yes, yes, yes. She, she does. Yes, she does. Muy bien. And the last one, number seven, guys. Me, teacher. Okay, go ahead. Does Mr. Solano follows indication. Does Mr. Solano follow indication? Yes or not? 
Yes, she does. Yes, she does. Muy bien, Michael. Excelente. Bueno, chicos. Ahorita, miren, ya terminamos lo que es la parte número 3, unit 3. So, let's see with the unit number 4. That is about what we were studying previously. That is once and where. Verb to be in past. Okay? So, and for that, guys, we have this one, right? So, let's talk about past tense also. One more time. How often do you attend trainings? What other events do take place at your workplace? Vaya, si la vez pasada estuvimos hablando acerca de los workshops, right? If you have workshop at your company and how often do you assist to the workshops or the trainings, right? So in this case, we have another question, right? Related with that questions. What other events do take place at your workplace? ¿Qué otros eventos tienes en tu compañía? Aparte de los workshops, ¿qué más hace la compañía para tenerlo a usted pues, actualizado, verdad? De todo eso que pasa en el ámbito laboral, ¿verdad? Capio series. ¿Cómo? Capio series, no, uh, capacitaciones. Uh -huh, capacity, but it's like a workshop, right? Like trainings. a training. Uh -huh, trainings. Uh -huh. What else? Meetings. Meetings, muy bien. Meetings in which you have to talk about the problems that the company has or maybe the solutions that maybe you are going to propose for that uh, problems, right? You are to get a solution for that problem. Uh, also, what else? It may be talking about something related with employees, right? How motivate them? So those uh, another events are the ones that I want to hear. Uh -huh. ¿Qué otros eventos más tienen, chicas, aparte de eso? Aparte yeah. de los meetings, besides the meetings, besides the workshop. Training. Oh. Training. Trainings, right? Okay, the training is also it's like a workshop, right? What else? ¿Qué más? Maybe uh, any kind of celebration. Yes. Like anniversary. Aha, uh -huh, muy bien. Maybe a celebrations like for anniversaries of the company. Maybe because they have a party uh, on Christmas, right? In holidays, right? So those kind of things are another events that maybe the company offers to the employees, right? Or uh, include the employees in that events. Okay, thank you so much. So what we're going to do now, guys, we're going to listen to the conversations and then we're going to practice. But I would like you read it first and then we're going to <clears throat> correct some pronunciations if there are some mistakes in pronunciation. But it's pretty, if there is not mistake, it's, it's okay, right? Okay, I need to volunteers, please, who read the conversation. Me. Okay, Veronica. Me, thank you. And? Me, Denise. Okay, Denise, go ahead. Okay. Who start? You start. Um, I can start. I'm going to start. Okay, perfect. Go ahead. I'm going to start. Okay. Uh, hey, Lorna. How are you? Did you attend the training last week? Lorna, yes, I did. The training was awesome. It was on the new hotel. Sounds great. Tell me everything about it. Was it difficult? Well, it wasn't that difficult, but it was a very challenging. Many international speakers came. And no kidding. Who were the speakers? Oh, let's see. Andrew Johnson from England and Magali. Magali Sainini from Brazil. I love Miss Miss Sanini. She was the first international CEO to visit our company two years ago. You are right. Okay, excellent. Who wants to read it again? Who wants to participate? Participate. Me, teacher. Mm -hmm. Me, teacher. 
Okay, perfect. Go ahead. Um, I'm going to be Lena. Yes. Hey, Lena. How are you? Did you attend the training last week? Lana, yes, I did. The training was awesome. It was at the new hotel. Sounds great. Tell me everything about it. Was it difficult? Well, it wasn't that difficult, but it was very challenging. Many international speakers came. No mm -hmm. kidding. You were the speakers? Who were the oh. speakers? Oh, let's see. Andrew Johnson from England and Magali Samini from Brazil. Okay, from I Brazil. I love Miss Samini. She was the first international CEO to visit our company two years ago. Okay. You are right. Okay, so do you remember what does it mean CEO, guys? What? ¿Qué significa CEO? A ver, ¿quién, se, quién, quién sabe? O, o si se, se recuerdan. No, teacher. Lo vimos anteriormente, chicos. I don't know. Yo creo que sí lo vimos las, las siglas, pero significa, este, significa director ejecutivo, creo. Oh. It significates Chief Executive Officer, okay? Uh, okay. Chief Executive Officer, okay, significa a Director Ejecutivo, right? Mm -hmm. okay. okay. So, cuando miren CEO es por eso. Another words that you don't understand about the, the, the conversation, guys? No? Maybe. No teacher. Okay, maybe challenges, or maybe what? Kitty, you already know what's kitty, right? Okay, perfect. Bye. Entonces, la conversación se trata de qué? What is the conversation about, guys? Así, in brief. Así, cortito, en resumen. <coughs> What is the conversation about? They are talking about uh, a training. They are talking about a training that they receive, right? Yes, yeah, they attend. And it was difficult or it was easy? It was easy. I Why? Think. Why? I don't know. <laughs> okay. it, was uh, difficult. it was difficult, but it was very challenging. Challenging. Okay, challenging. 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 Es como desafiante, right? Uh -huh. Porque es desafiante. Ajá. Uh -huh. But a qué se concierne es porque Lorna dice it wasn't that difficult, but it wasn't very. It was very challenging, right? Because the international speaker came. Quiere decir que personas de otros países, ¿verdad? Venían a la, a la reunión o al, o al workshop. Entonces, ellos pues tenían eso, ¿verdad? Que no sabían qué era lo que pasar o, o si van a poder expresarse, ¿verdad? Maybe they are, uh, they are speak English speakers and maybe the ones that are going to assist to the workshop. They are not the English speakers, so that is they are they that is why they are afraid, or maybe they say they uh, they it was a uh, very challenging, right? Because you have to speak to them, so that means they they was going to, or they were going to make a big effort, right, to learn how to express and how to speak with them. So maybe that's the challenge, right? Maybe. But I'm not sure, right? Maybe that could be a possible, right? 
Okay, so that is why they are afraid of that, of that. And they say that is very challenging. Somebody else wants to get, a, wants, wants to give the opinion? No? Okay, let's continue. So let's see with the pair work. Now we're going to discuss the following questions about the conversation that is the ones that we were making before. How does Lorna describe the training? How does Lorna describe the training? I don't remember. <laughs> I'm sorry. I invited to read it again, guys. <laughs> what? Why Lorna said that the training? Okay, how does Lorna describe the training? ¿Cómo la describe el, el entrenamiento, Lorna? En esa forma. Very challenging, right? Because uh, international speakers are going to come right? or were going to come, right? Okay, so let's see number two. When was the first time Mrs. Sanity Sanini pardon, came to the ladies' company? Two years ago. Two years ago. Okay, perfect. Excellent. Number three, where did the training take place? International Hotel. <laughs> okay, excellent. Very good. Oh, sí me acuerdo de ese. <laughs> International Hotel. Muy bien. Excellent. Thank you so much. Vaya, de esa manera es como debemos pues, hacer nuestra pregunta para que se pueda hablar. Muy bien. How to use verb in past. This is the things that we were discussing previously, right? This is something that you already, that you already studied before, right? And how to use the past tense of the verb to be, when we are going to use, or with which personal pronouns we are going to use once, when, when, when we are going to use the forms of the verb to be where and, and when which uh, personal pronouns we are going to use it, right? So we have the affirmative statement that I already see that it's, the training was very helpful. All the employees were happy to attend. And also we have the statement that it was not or it wasn't difficult or we, we were not um, willing to help or we weren't willing to help, right? And those kind of things. Those are negatives and positive. Remember that negative form is going to control by adding the word not, okay? Okay, we said read the paragraph below and answer the question. So we have another paragraph, okay? And it's this one, guys. Mary, vaya, vamos a ir preguntando a cada uno porque necesito que todos me participen, que todos me lean un poquito, ¿ok? Para practicar la reading. Ok, vamos, Freddy, read the first sentences up to the first point, hasta aquí, ¿ok? Los ah. demás vamos siguiéndolo, ¿ok? And Mary went to training in Guatemala last two days. Ajá. Vaya, vamos con Verónica, the next one, hasta el punto. Perfect. The training was in interesting because she learned how to fix. Fix, fix. okay, perfect. Vamos con Ana Victoria, read the next one, up to the, the point, please. Uh, the equipment she used and how to prevent damages, damages on it. Okay. Next, vamos a ver Me qué fue. más. Me Ajá. Okay, perfecto, go ahead. The present was really helpful and he clarified all 
those. Uh huh. Mary had, right? The Mary person. had. I'm sorry. Uh -huh. I don't watch in the period. Yes. The present, the presenter, or the, yes, the presenter was really helpful and he clarified all doubts. Mary had. Muy bien. Excelente. Yeah. Thank you so much. Alex, could you read the last one, please? George Alberto Lainez Diaz, could you read the last one, please? He used, he used a computer to present examples during the spe speech. Okay, he used a computer to present examples during the speech. Okay, perfect, excellent. So what we're going to do now, guys, guys, we are going to answer these questions about the paragraph below, right? For example, what was the training? How was the training? The training interesting. was, the training was, was interesting. Interesting. interesting, right? So let's see number two. What was the training? The what training was the last last day. Day. The training was on Tuesday. last Tuesday. Last Tuesday, okay, perfect. So let it let it, let's see number three. Did did you like it? Did you like it? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Okay. What did you learn? ¿Qué aprendió? Supuestamente usted lo tomado. Oh, Mary, right? Mm -hmm. She learned uh, how to fix the equipment. Uh -huh. She used and um, how to prevent damages. Okay, how to prevent damages, right? Okay, excellent on it, right? So let's see number five. Was the person, the presenter helpful? Yes or not? Yes, he was. Yes, he is. Yes, yes, yes he was. Why? Por qué? He was very clear. He was very clear when we present the presentation, but all of example, right? Or the speech, right? So let's see number six. Did you use ex did he use examples? Yes. Yes, yes he, he did. Yes, he did. Okay, excellent. So you already identified the kind of questions that they are doing. Remember that when the questions start with the word did or do, you are going to answer with the or do, right? But when the questions start with the verb is or verb to be, ya sea in past or in present, you are going to answer the question using the same auxiliary verb that in this case is going to be the verb to be, okay? Is clear? Yes, teacher. Yes, okay, perfect. Thank you so much. Now what we're going to do, write seven questions about recent events at your workplace using the past of to be. Then ask them to the classmate and share the answer with the whole class. So what we're going to do now, we are going to make some questions using the verb to be in past about some events that have happened in our company. For example, if you have had a workshop, or if you have had a celebration, or if you have had something else, right? And you can get more than one questions in that. Maybe if you have a question, you can ask. It was, uh, is the, was the workshop typical? Or was the workshop interesting? Or was, was the workshop, um, how do you say, um, boring maybe, right? Or was the worst, or did you learn about the workshop using the the both the both things, right? Acá les piden que solo utilice el verbo to be, chicos. Pero si ustedes pues quieren utilizar el verbo did también lo pueden hacer en pasado. Lo único que pongámosle un poco más de eh, inclinación al verbo to be, okay? Is clear? Okay. Van a escribir siete preguntas, okay? Y las van a responder. Go ahead. 
Luego las compartimos.
Guys, if you have questions, you can tell me, guys. Finish teacher. Okay, you are the first one, Veronica. Thank you. Who else? Finish the chat. Okay, perfect, Denise. Thank you so much. Somebody else? Okay, let's continue, guys. But who wants to participate? Who wants to say his or her sentences, seven sentences, please? Or do you need more time? Sorry, teacher. Would you like to share your sentences? Yes. Okay, go ahead, Veronica. Thank you so much. Okay. Was it boring the training? Uh -huh. Was the, the training? 
Was the training boring? It wasn't, okay, excellent. Ah, es, es que yo lo puse, uh, was it the boring the training? Uh -huh, this is, was the training boring? Estuvo ah, el entrenamiento why? aburrido o la capacitación un poco aburrida? Yes, the training. Uh -huh. Como el training en este caso es el sujeto, ¿verdad? Es de quien se habla en la oración. Entonces, por ende, eh, va después del verbo to be. Ah, entonces, uh -huh. okay. eh, entonces la siguiente sería was the training um, challenge challenge uh -huh. challenging or challenge right retador uh -huh. right challenging right sería the answer yes it it was yes it was muy yes. bien Eh, ese sí no sé si está bien. Was the training long the... Uh, uh, no, sé. <laughs> Was the training long? O longer? I don't know. Was the bien? training long? Long? ¿Fue no. largo? Ajá. Uh -huh. Ok, yes. Well, It was, well. okay. Eso también no sé si está bien. Was the training... Um, Finishing early. Okay, finishing early. Muy bien, excelente. Okay. That's it. That's it. No? Just, okay, just fire. Okay, thank you so much. Gracias, Veronica, por haber participado. Okay, somebody else wants to give uh, or present his or her yes. sentence. Okay, perfect, Denise. Go ahead. But I did six sentences with was and one with did. <laughs> okay, excellent. No worries. Do okay, it. Okay. Okay. Was the training about information security? Yes, it was. Uh-huh. Where where was the training? It was in our facilities. Was a helpful training? Yes, it was because we learned how to save and protect information. Okay, excellent. Was the training Training for all the employees? Yes, it was for everybody. Okay. Who was the trainer? The trainer was Giovanni from Colombia. Oh. Was the training interesting? Yes, it was very interesting. And did you practice what you have learned? Yes, I did. <laughs> okay. Did you practice what you learned? Yes, I did. Okay, excellent. Congratulations. That's the way. Also, you you use the WH fourth. It is valido también. Okay. Thank you so much. Somebody else. Hi, teacher. Okay, George, go ahead. Did you go to the presentation? Uh -huh. Yes, I was there. Uh huh. You were at the hotel. The hotel. Yes. There it was. They invited your college, collegers, right? They didn't do it. They, didn't, they made you. Excuse? They didn't eat. Yes. Ah, okay. They made you work on Sunday. No, they didn't make it. Okay. Did you like? The living room, it was nice. Okay. They went to they went to the beach. No, they didn't go. Okay. No, falta una, excuse me. Okay, no worries. Thank you so much. Okay. You. So you you use did and also you 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 use a was right was and were. So you use both. Okay, that's great. Just be careful when you are going to answer that question because you have to use the same auxiliary verb in that case, okay? But all is good. Yeah. Okay, thank you, congratulations. Thank you. Okay, thank you so much. Somebody else wants to share? Me, teacher. Okay, go ahead, Anita. Uh, where was your last workshop? And the answer is, 
the last workshop was in the in La Union. Okay. What were the topics of the workshop? Okay. The topics. The topics were uh, ocean pollution and Golfo de Fonseca Shorter. Okay, so uh, you 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 received two topics. Yes. Okay. How many people? How many people were in the workshop? Uh, there were thirty people. Okay. How was given the workshop? It was given by biologists. Okay. Uh, the topics were interesting for the participants. Yes, it were. It was, right? Oh, oh they it were. Was. Ah, como son dos, dos temas, ¿verdad? Entonces, sí. yes, they were, in este caso. Ah, they were. Okay. okay, thank you so much, Anna. Congratulations. Well done, job. Excelente trabajo. Vamos a ver, somebody else wants to share? Alex, eh, eh, no, Daniel, Diana, Brandon. No more? Okay, let's continue, guys. So what we're going to do now, guys, let's see this part, okay? How often do you evaluate products at your company? ¿Qué tan seguido usted evalúa productos en su compañía? It depends, right? Right? Who's in charge of buying supplies at your workplace? ¿Quién está encargado de comprar los recursos en su compañía o en su lugar de trabajo? Bueno, vamos a responder estas dos preguntas. Les voy a dar cinco minutitos para que le escriban y luego lo vamos a decir todos. Les voy a preguntar a uno por uno, ¿ok? Porque necesito que todos participen. La mayoría este, se pone sin cámara y no participa y ese no es el punto. El punto es que usted participe para que pues, pueda aprender, ¿verdad? Yo sé que para algunos pues esto es un poco más fácil, para otros más difícil, pero debemos de tener un mismo nivel. Entonces, por eso es que hago que les pregunto a todos, ¿verdad? Hay que participar. Acuérdense que la participación es primordial en la, y es una regla en la eh, reunión, ¿verdad? Que se dijo al principio del curso, ¿ok? So, let's practice. Vale, voy a dar cinco minutitos para que me contesten estas dos preguntitas que tenemos acá. ¿Qué tan seguido evalúas los productos de tu compañía? ¿O quién está a cargo de comprar los eh, recursos, verdad, en tu, en tu lugar de trabajo? ¿Ok? Por ejemplo, en el taller de Alberto, ¿quién está encargado de comprar los materiales o la materia prima para alguna cosa que usted hace, verdad, o para la reparación de los, de los motores y todo eso, verdad, quién los compra? ¿Y qué tan seguido usted lo prueba esos productos para ver si es bueno y ofrecérselos al cliente? Uh -huh. eh, fíjese de que de ofrecer al cliente, ¿no? Porque como eh, los productos, como yo estoy en el área de, ma de mantenimiento, no, no le presento a nadie, simplemente cambio repuestos y ya. Ah, es pero... más complejo para mí. Pero qué tan, qué tan factibles son. Vaya, usted que los ha puesto y los prueba cuando está chequeando, ¿verdad? Este, más o menos, ¿cómo es de producto? ¿Es bueno, malo, más o menos? No, es bueno, es bueno. Entonces, eso es lo que vamos a poner en la respuesta de la pregunta, ¿ok? Pero necesito que me haga la, la respuesta y la pregunta, por ejemplo, ¿quién está encargado de comprarlos, verdad? ¿Y qué tan seguido? Ah, los pruebo cada día, ¿verdad? En el caso que usted esté poniendo el producto en, el, en los autos o todo eso, pues tiene que chequearlo. Entonces, a eso me refiero, a probarlo si es bueno o malo, ¿ok? Ok, gracias. Ok, go ahead. Thank you so much. Somebody else have questions? Yes, I do. Ok, Freddy. What? Question. Ah, es estas, mira, eh, la, la pasamos en la página, ya te digo, en la página 41 de la última unidad. 
okay. de la unidad 4. Fitness hecho. Ok, perfecto. Vamos a ver. ¿Somebody else? Bye. Ok, Brandon. Dígame, how often do you evaluate your, the products as your company? Uh, I never. Ok. I never I... evaluate the products. Ok, who is in charge of that? Uh, I don't know, teacher, because we only order the things and we 
we need um pick up then up the warehouse oh, maybe okay. the president of the of the institution okay i don't maybe, know maybe uh -huh. it's like a supervisor right something like this yes okay if, who is in charge uh, do you know who is in charge of buying supplies at your workplace no, dice porque como es de gobierno, ¿no? entonces ah. no hay como un encargado que compre las cosas, sino que solo se hace una requisición, lo que nosotros necesitamos, y vamos a traerlo como a la bodega central. Ah, ok, perfecto. So, thank you so much. So, it's another environment, right? Yeah. <laughs> pienso que quizás el presidente de, de, de Anda o sea, el encargado de que no falte nada uh, it's another context <laughs> yeah ok, perfect, thank you so much for your participation, no worries somebody else me teacher ok, go ahead okay. In my company, every month, the administrator buy um, the stationery ah, okay. products mm -hmm. and other specific supply, supplies mm -hmm. are purchased by uh, project technicians. Ah, the project technicians. Okay, excellent. And how often do you evaluate products? Do you evaluate products first? First of all, do you evaluate products? Do you, excuse me? ¿Usted evalúa productos en su compañía? Este... No, we, we... we... We don't evaluate it. No. Ok. No sé el Ajá, ¿qué, qué, qué, ¿qué quiere decir, Anita? Nosotros damos servicios. Solo brindan eh, servicios. Ajá. So we get services or we offer Ajá. the service, right? And we offer... Uh -huh. Ajá, we offer services, right? Okay, perfect. Thank you so much. Somebody else? Okay, so let's continue, guys. Vaya, miren, acá vamos con ya con lo, con la ul, las últimas etapas, okay? Remember that we have to finish this, okay? Listen to your teacher, read the conversation, then practice with a partner. Always we are going to read conversations Always we are going to practice because that's the part of the most you practice, the most you learn. Always I told you, right? The most you practice, the most you learn. And how do you are going to get your goals? Practicing, not practicing, and practicing, okay? Maybe there, it's going to be a moment that is going to be boring, but it's something that you have to do in order to keep in mind that uh, vocabulary words in order that you can output later, right? Okay, but for that reason, we are going to do it, okay? So let's see, I'm going to read it in this case, right? And then you are going to tell me what is the conversation about, okay? So we're going to try to speak. We are going to give our opinion. We are going to try to apply the vocabulary words that we were discussing that is was and where, okay? So let's see. Hi, Eric, did you buy the spare part of the sewing machine? Sewing machine is como la máquina de coser, right? Yes, I did, Robert. The price was $78. Okay. Uh, I need the evaluations of the product. I need the evaluations of the product. Of the, okay, of the new product. That's right. I will be ready tomorrow. Great. Did you order, order it online or did you buy it in Danto? Yes, I want to get it by myself downtown. How was the customer service? It was nice as usual, right? So what is the conversation about, guys? What is the conversation about, guys? The hang, hang by the, um, the sewing the machine. Mm-hmm. The sewing machine is the the say um uh, Eric the the price. Mm -hmm. 
and she um, he he is the need the evaluation of the product. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Somebody else wants to give his or her opinion. Because buy is online. Aha, muy bien, excelente. They are asking, or they she, she, perdón, he is asking, the, asking him if he buy it by online or he buy it as usual, right? By the, the classical way that is going to go there, the place, and you are going to buy something, right? Where you can touch, where you can see, right? So, and what was the answer? Uh, she give by herself. Okay. He get he get it he got it right by himself in this case right. Muy bien, excelente, Brandon. Who else? How was the customer service? It was nice. It was nice. Nice, as usual, right? Okay, so that means he received a nice or a good customer service. So get in pairs and discuss the following questions. What did Eric need to buy? What did Eric need to buy? ¿Qué necesita Eric comprar? Este, Freddy's? Sewing machines. A sewing machines. Muy bien, excelente. Michael, what was the price of the product? Uh, 78, perdón. 78 dollars. Okay, 78 dollars. Muy bien, excelente. Uh, Jorge Ernesto Hernández Durán, what was the customer service at store? It was nice. It was nice. As usual. As usual, right? Okay, perfect. So, teacher, tell me. What is downtown? Downtown is como ir al pueblo, ¿verdad? O al mercado, o así. Mm -hmm. Thank you, thank you. Okay. Depende, ¿verdad? Si está en la ciudad, pues es también como el. No centro comercial, pero sí en un lugar como más informal, ¿verdad? Yes. Ok. So, vaya, miren, niños. I know that you are tired, right? So, how to use the past yes, no question. Esto creo que lo vamos a dejar para el día de la próxima semana, para el día de lunes. Yo sé que están un poquito cansaditos, yo sé que esto de la reading, you don't like it, right? <laughs> But it's necessary, okay? Because if I put it flashcards and I practice, 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 some of you don't do it. So I need to do it. I need to motivate you. I need to ask you. That is why I made that, okay? So let's trace your body. I know that you are stressful. You are tired because you work and that's kind of thing. Students, es que es bien duro a veces estar dos horas sentados en una silla después de venir del trabajo. It's a little, it's a little bit tired, right? And it's stressful, but we are going to get over from this test. Hagan esto siempre. Mire, esto ayuda bastante. Así. Doblense la manita así de esta parte de acá, así. Y ayuda, pero bien estiradito, así, estírense. Yo sé que les va a ayudar, ¿ok? Muevan su cuello, un lado por otro, sé que a veces tenemos tensión en la parte de acá, y a veces movemos el cuello y nuestro nadie nos acerca. Eso ayuda bastante también. ¿Ok? Muevan su, su cabeza, ¿verdad? Un lado para el otro, miren, hasta me el cuello cuando lo hice así. ¿Ok? Para un lado, para el otro, la espalda, ¿verdad? Ok, para un lado, para el otro. Respire, ¿verdad? Profundo, three times, ¿ok? Breath deep, three times, ¿ok? Una vez, ¿ok? 
Retégalo un ratito. Sáquelo. Despacio. ¿Ok? One more time. ¿Ok? Saquémoslo. ¿Ok? Vamos, Freddy. You can do it, Freddy. <ríe> Son gimnasios. <¿sí? ríe> ok, one more time. ¿Ok? But do it, Freddy. <ríe> I see you, Freddy. It's my pet. Hasta el perrito quiere hacer yoga. Miren, usted no lo quiere dejar. <risa> Vaya, se estiraron. Estírense. Hagan esto para un lado, para el otro. Ay, qué bien se siente. <risa> bueno, ok, perfecto. ¿Vieron? Quiero. Ok, so, vaya. ¿Cómo van con las tareas, chicos? ¿Cómo van con las tareas? Do you have questions? I think I'm done with the homework. Okay, you already finished, right? Okay, thank you. No, no. Just week four? Good. Yes. It's, I like that. Okay. Somebody else that have problems with the homeworks or questions about the homeworks? This is your time, guys. We can check it, right? We can do it right now. No. <laughs> si no regresamos al manual. <laughs> no, teacher, no. Yes, it's Denise. Yeah, Denise, le gusta. <laughs> okay, Denise, thank you so much for supporting me. Hasta <laughs> tome ahora. Ajá. Freddy, ¿ya terminó sus tareas, Freddy? ¿Cómo vamos, Freddy? ¿Te da questions? ¿Tiene preguntas? Yes, teacher. Yes. Finish it. Homework. Ok, me llega, Freddy. Somebody else? Daniel, Verónica, Rachel, Nancy, Eduardo Reyes. Edith. I don't start the the new the new four for me unit. Sorry. So you are you you haven't started the the, the unit four yet, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, okay, perfect. But remember that the unit four yes. is for the next week, right? Okay, okay. Okay, you have time. You have time. In the unit three, oh no, unit three, it's okay. Ah, oh, okay. Think. So you're complete, right? Do, do, uh, will you take, take, take my note? We, we can check it, okay? Okay, excellent. Vaya, mire, este, necesitamos pasar lo que son las notas, ¿verdad? Acuérdense que el cada viernes, ¿verdad? Las personal de SAFOR este, chequea las notas. Entonces, ahorita tenemos que estar completos la semana 3, chicos. Para la siguiente semana sería lo de la primera tarea del Boss and Word e, y así, ¿verdad? Pues vamos un poquito adelantados en cuanto a eso. Vaya, ahorita les voy, a, les voy a compartir para los que quieren ver sus notas, ¿verdad? Y pues ver cómo vamos. Cualquier preguntita o si quieren chequear alguna tarea, si usted tuvo dificultades en alguna tarea, aquí lo podemos solucionar, ¿verdad? Los compañeritos están dispuestos a compartir también, ¿verdad? Si usted tiene algún problema con la respuesta, pues los compañeros también le pueden ayudar. Vaya, este eh, decía Verónica, right? Yes. ¿Dónde estás, Verónica? Creo que, next... creo que estás en la siguiente página. Yes, you're right. I don't know missing the, the homework. Okay, we are going to see it right now. Okay, Veronica Lisset Portillo. Okay, Veronica, you have the 92% in the unit one. The unit two, you have the 100%, and the unit three, you have the 100%. It's complete. Okay. It's complete. Okay, remember okay. that if you want to change this 92, you can do it. Okay. okay. Thank you. you can okay you can change everything while the course 
So, doesn't finish, ok? Lo puede corregir cualquier cosita mientras el curso no, no termine, ok? Se quiere cambiar el 80, el 70, el 96, a un 100%, se puede regresar. Corregir solamente la parte que está este, como error, ¿verdad? Y usted pues no tiene el 100%. Recuerden que el, la nota mínima es 8, es 80%. But it's better pass it with the 100%. ¿Ok? Es mejor pasarlo con el 100%. Entonces, yo los invito pues, a que usted vaya, vuelva, ¿verdad? Tal vez tiene alguna preguntita, tiene alguna cosita ahí. Vuelva y lo corrija y pues subamos al 100%, ¿verdad? Que es lo más conveniente, ¿verdad? Y no nos estamos atrasando, lo vayamos despacio para evitar pues caer en estrés y pues. Algún, algún error, por estar a la rápida, ¿verdad? Entonces es mejor hacerlo sin despacio o cuando tenemos un poquito de tiempo extra, ¿verdad? Dice George, what's the... Okay, this is the answer, right? Okay, somebody else? Do you have some questions? Comentarios, chicos. So Larry, so Freddy. I know. Recarga. Recarga, estamos cargando. Vaya, el perrito está diciendo, vamos, vamos, vamos. Freddy, Freddy, vamos, yo quiero leche. Ha de ser de los perritos pequeñitos, ¿verdad? Si no me equivoco. Sí, Neo. Pet Chihuahua. Ah, Chihuahua. Sí, ya, 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 ya he oído ese, ese ladrido así parecido. Por la casa hay uno así que sí hacen bullita, ¿verdad? Pero son bien bonitos. Vaya, no tienen más preguntitas, chicos. No los puedo despachar todavía porque no hemos cumplido con el tiempo requerido, ¿verdad? Entonces, si gusta, hacemos la, ultim, la última actividad. No, no, teacher. No, teacher. Ah, entonces háblenme, dígame. No, porque... es, es que hay chequen la, la, esa que me salieron malas. Ajá. Ah, ok, perfecto. ¿Quiere que les dé tiempo para corregir esos 96 y esos 68? Yes. Si no, regresamos a la nueva. Es, esa es la tarea 2 de la unidad 1. Bueno, entonces, entonces les voy a dar tiempo para que chequeen. Okay. Chequemos las que tenemos malas y me dicen, cualquier preguntita también les puedo ayudar. Ok. Go ahead. Hello, Rachel. Hello, teacher. ¿Cómo estamos, Rachel? Aquí está en oscuro, amigo, me apagó la luz. Ya, sí, sí, veo. Sí, ya se está bebiendo Rachel, no me queda nada. Está bueno, encendido el tremendo de un solo de la paz. Ay, dice, no, mami, vamos a dormir, no, dice. ¿En qué está? Ay, no, teacher, ese niño está tremendo. Así son, así es el mío, también, no te preocupes. Hoy que va a guardería, está, pero. Ah, eso se va a la guardería. Sí. Al, al daycare. Al daycare. <coughs> okay, perfect. They are like this, right? Maybe because they age. <laughs> That's happen when they are in that age. They tend to be curious, so curious, right? And they tend to make something like this, right? Things <laughs> like this. Pa pa pa. No, vamos a ver, Luis Eduardo no tiene nada. Ok, Luis Eduardo, sí. Luis Eduardo, I need you to work in, the, in your homeworks. María José, I need you to work in your homeworks too. You need three, María José, please. Maritza is complete right now. M, 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 M is complete also. If you want, you can change that 80% and that 95%. Ah, 
Ah, but I already remember that. So you had some problems with that questions also, right? Okay, just... Teacher, ¿cuántas semanas nos quedan ya para terminar solo la otra semana? Si terminamos el viernes 13 de octubre, Ajá. ese día estamos finalizando el curso. Okay. Sí, porque a mí me, para me escribieron si voy a continuar, ya me estaban preguntando si, si voy a continuar. Sí, es cierto, por eso <coughs> algunos compañeros dijeron ayer que ya les habían mandado la información, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Ok, George, ¿qué le dijeron a usted, George? ¿Se le mandaron la información a usted? Ya, ya me la enviaron, solo falta que recursos a mano envíe la documentación nada más. Ah, ok, perfecto. Entonces, pues ellos están encargados de eso, ¿verdad? ¿O ustedes tienen que fotocopiar o mandar algún papel? No, vía correo los envían ahora, lo hacen más fácil ahora. Sí. Ah, sí, mejor todavía. Entonces, se van a quedar recursos humanos a poner las pilas, ¿right? Se... el tiempo. Ajá, sí, porque si no, no, como acuérdense que hay una fecha establecida para, para entregar los papeles y que puedan quedar en el curso, ¿verdad? De hecho, no lo habían enviado porque la de Recursos Humanos tenía la duda de que decía módulo 1, pero no se había fijado que ya era intermedio, ya que era principiante. Ah, ya, yeah. so there, it was a confused there, right? Teacher, oh, okay. fíjense que a mí ningún diploma me han dado. Pero la vez pasada enviaron, o será que enviaron otro grupo que estaban enviando que este, finalizaran lo que eran las tareas porque ya se iban a imprimir los diplomas. O será que me lo enviaron en el grupo de la tarde, no, 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 pero creo que sí vi un mensajito por ahí, a ustedes no les han enviado eso. A mí no, porque se supone que si no, si no también lo envían a la empresa, pero a mí no me han enviado nada. ¿Y será que, no, se no, no. Van a, será que se los darán hasta el final? Me imagino, ¿verdad? Quizás hasta el final. Sí, ¿por qué no hubieran enviado algún, este, alguna notificación? Pero no. <risa> Maybe at the end of the course. Probably, right? Ojalá que sí. Ajá, probablemente. Y ojalá que sí, ¿verdad? No, no creo que no se los envíen. Tienen que, right? ¿Alguien sabe acerca de Pablito y todos los compañeritos que estaban en el curso pasado, chicos? De Edwin y de Pablito, ya no. Sarita, todos. Ajá. Ajá. Pero Sarita, Sarita Hueso, ¿verdad? Karen también. Sarita dijo que iba a tener un inconveniente porque la, la jefa parece que no iba a llegar a tiempo para entrar los papeles, parece que me dijo. Ita. Mm. Ita, Andaba tú... de viaje, creo que todavía. Andaba de viaje, sí, you're right. Sí. Ni modo, va a tener que, que atrasarse, va a tener que eh, incorporarse en el, en el anterior, ¿verdad? Y ustedes van a ir un curso más adelantado. Sí. Sí, Pablito no se inscribió también. Bien extraño que no, no está aquí. Ajá, ni Edwin, Edwin era bien pues, constante también. Pero bien, ojalá que sí, aunque no se queden, right Igual que ustedes, chicos, nunca se den por vencidos. Hagamos el esfuerzo, sé que es cansadito, pero hay que hacerlo. Porque la recompensa, pues, va a ser buena al final. Aunque estemos ahí cabeceando, pero... Aunque sea cabeceando, mira, que sea aquí con... Llamando la cara a Aunque sea el yoga de la teacher, va. Me está llamando, le va a decir. Me está llamando la, la cama. Ven a mí, ven a mí. A cada rato. Igual que la, la canción, vení, 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 corazoncito. Ay, no. Ay, no se dice la camita, vení, 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 Liz. Ay, igual es Ledle. Vení a sleep, Liz. <laughs> no, it's a little bit tired, right? Because of the schedule. Mm -hmm. But we have to do it. Santo Dios, hasta Chucky. Ah, Liz. Si tienen este sticker, ustedes. 
para cada cosa. Dice, yo tengo problemas con estas dos, dice, ok. Alguien que Bien, ayude a Diana. Copia. Ajá, en el, en el WhatsApp. ¿Qué tarea es? ¿Qué tarea es, Diana? Ok, Alex ya le mandó. Creo, okay. Es que todas son positivas, Diana. Mm, ok. Uh -huh. O oh, no, ¿verdad? No, sí, so hay, hay, hay negativas. Sorry, perdón. Y que ver si. Es la uh, tarea 15. Ah, ok, pero es que tiene que ser negativo. Le he puesto no, I was. Y es no, I wasn't. Ahí está la cosa, sí. No sé si alguien me puede ayudar con una 19 porque no, no logro pasarlo. Ponga la captura, George. Ya se la mando. <risa> Gracias. La 19, ¿verdad? Ajá. Este, Ahorita. Yeah. Este, Alex. Brando, ¿por qué mandé eso, Brando? Para que se distraigan, teacher. Ay, no. It was funny, right? Ahí Vamos se la envía ya. Ok, bye. A Rachel. 19. Ahí está la 19. George. Está cargando, pero no puede acceder a... De la 15 tiene problema. ¿Quién tiene problema en la 15? De la 15, chicos. Ya me mandé la respuesta. Ahí mandaron la respuesta, chicos. Ok, thank you. En la 2 es yes, igual. En la 15. Ok. Ok. Pero tiene que ponerle las comas y al final el punto, porque si no, no se le, no le va a salir bueno. Quizás por eso no le sale bueno. Ok, ahorita intentamos. Gracias. Ok, somebody else. George dice, vaya, envió George. Ya le salieron buenas. Ok, perfecto. <risa> Voy a Verónica le sale este, una mala a las cinco, chicos. Can you help her, please? Esta es de la quince. ¿De la quince? Sí, la quince. Ya se la envío. Pero... No, esta que he enviado yo es de la quince, porque alguien pidió ahí de la quince que ayudaran. Ah, mío. Ah. Vaya, para mientras voy a checar las notas. Ah. Vamos a ver. Creo que ustedes están trabajando en eso, ¿ok? Ah, ah, guarda. Ah. Vamos a ver. Let's see. Ah. Ah, <risa> It's so funny, right? <laughs> um, Richard, you are complete with a hundred percent, right? Ma, 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 ¿Qué me decía, teacher? Pues está completa con la 100 en todo, ¿verdad? Sí, teacher. Okay. Creo que no estoy revisando si no tengo algún error. Ok. Eh, Ana Victoria también está completa. Solo le falta el final exam. Yes.
Vamos a ver el final exam. Sí, acá está. Solamente se le falta. Luego se está completa con las homework y el mixture, right? Vamos a ver, Brandon, Alexis. Vamos a ver, Brandon, usted está completo también, ¿verdad? Solo en la tarea 4 tiene este un 88 y el final le falta también. Ya está. Okay. Mañana lo termino. Ok, perfecto. Um, vamos a ver, let's see. 88 tiene así. Y acá eh, tiene un promedio de 97, ok, 97. Vaya, vamos con Cristina Beatriz. Vamos a ver con la Cristina Beatriz. 80 y 100. Vamos a ver quién está Daniel. Vamos con primera, segunda, sesenta. Y el Mitchell. Cien, cien, sesenta. Ok, cien, cien, sesenta. ¿Cómo van, chicos? ¿Tienen alguna otra preguntita? No question. Ok. Because it's time, guys. Denise Alejandro, vamos a ver. Sí, Denise está completa. Denise, usted está completita, ¿verdad? Con lo de todo. 100, 100, 100. Ok, ahorita le actualizo sus notas. Ok, estamos en verde con todo, Luis. Ok, vamos a ver, Diana. ¿cómo? Gracias, Diana. teacher. Ok, you're welcome. Diana, vamos a ver cómo va Diana. Esto se está trabajando ahorita, ¿verdad, Diana? Ah, ok, entonces va a ser cambios. Entonces no la voy a actualizar todavía hasta que haga el mayor okay. cambio. Ok, vamos a ir con Edith. Okay, ok, vamos a ver. Freddy. Freddy, ¿usted está trabajando en algún cambio? No, teacher. Ah, ok, perfecto. Entonces ahorita le voy a tenemos cien y noventa y siete y cien noventa y siete y cien y el final por ver Tiene 100. Uh -huh. ¿Qué dice? Alejandro. Vamos a ver. Jorge Alberto Laínez Díaz. Vamos a ver cómo vas, George. Voy a refresh. Jorge, usted está trabajando ahorita, ¿verdad? Yes, teacher. Vamos a ver. 100, 100, 100, 100, 84. Ok. En el final, ¿cómo me va? 25. 
Elizabeth Reyes, no, María José, vamos a ver, no, María José. Chicos, ya es hora, chicos, van a seguir trabajando. Yes. Vale, entonces. No hay que seguir otro paso, ¿no? ¿Cómo? Voy a seguir otro momento, a ver si logro terminar ahora. Vaya, está bien. Freddy ya, se, ya le llama la camita, ¿verdad? <risa> Pero ustedes pueden seguir platicando en el WhatsApp, chicos, si gustan, no hay ningún problema. Y ahí terminamos, ¿ok? Les okay. parece. Vale, entonces okay. lo voy a despachar ahorita de la Miri, pero usted puede continuar interactuando con sus compañeros en el WhatsApp group, ¿ok? Thank okay, you thank so you. much. Okay, bye, Good bye. Night. And see you the next night. video. Estoy mandando stickers. Good, Good night. night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Hasta la voz se nos va. Good night. Good night, everybody. Have a nice rinse. Thank you. Bye. Por ahí vi un conejo comiendo su miel. ¿Qué ha mi al viste? Ay, no. ¿Qué es eso, niños? Un conejo ese. <risa> un conejo. Un graguelote. Ah, ya voy a ver, no lo he visto. Bye, bye, Richard. Bye, teacher. Bye, bye. bye. See you next week. Primeramente, Dios. Bye.